Shopping used to be fun. I remember trips back to the mall with my family, my brother and sister, my mom and my dad. We would all split off to different stores based on our interests and passions at the time. Uh, and we would all have a, our own unique experience where we would discover interesting items, some of which we would buy and bring home. These types of experiences uh, don't really happen in e-commerce anymore. Traditional e-commerce is fantastic at fulfilling existing demand. So if I already have intent to actually buy something, I search for it, it's kind of a chore. But that discovery aspect has been largely removed from the existing e-commerce experience. And there was a big missed opportunity in creating a much more fun, joyful, discovery-oriented experience, providing these serendipitous moments of, hey, I didn't even know that this existed, but I'm actually glad that I found it, and I'm glad that I'm going to be able to own it. And this is what we've worked so hard to bring back into a digital experience. So unlike traditional e-commerce, which very often starts with a search query, when Wish users open up the app, they're looking to be entertained. It's almost like opening up their favorite social media app. They open it up, they start browsing. On average, they look at over 500 products on a daily basis. Even out of those daily active users that end up buying something, over 70% of them never initiate any search query. This is why it's so critical to provide an experience that's as relevant and engaging as possible. We have some of the best engineers and data scientists in the world. We have to be able to predict without the actual consumer telling us what they're shopping for, what they would find interesting, engaging, and actually likely to buy. And of course, we could only do this if we understand our products, our consumers, and our merchants, all the consumer behavior, what they've looked at, what they've bought, what they've ignored uh, on the platform before. We can take Wish's 150 million plus product listings and really narrow it down to the best possible recommendations for each individual user and personalize it completely. And data is at the backbone of all of the systems that we build around that. Another way in which we leverage our data is by building efficient digital performance marketing user acquisition engines at scale. And by pointing these systems at an underserved demographic of value conscious consumers and providing them with a unique shopping as entertainment type of experience, we were able to scale our customer base from 21 million monthly active users in 2015 to over 100 million monthly active users in 2020. So the virtual cycle that we've created is the more products we have, the more consumer engagement we have, the better and more efficient the personal recommendations get, the more engagement we get, and the flywheel spins faster and faster. And that's what we've been focused on building since day one.